I looked up Dr. Schreiber to do an autoplasty because um, it runs in my family that all of our ears stick out a little bit farther than normal. Um, so it was always something that had been brought up like to me as a kid growing up um, and becoming older and more self-conscious of it. It was just something that it was time for me to just make that change and it was, it was time for me to to have a surgery. I met with two other plastic surgeons before meeting with Dr. Schreiber, and after meeting with him, I didn't need to meet with anybody else. Um, my decision was made within the first like few minutes of meeting with him. <laughs> I felt so comfortable, and it was just very easy to make that decision at that point in time. When you talk to Dr. Schreiber, you feel very like at home, and you just feel like you're a part of his family, like you're a very close friend of the family, or like you're just one of them, and you don't have to like second guess. You don't feel like you're just one of his other patients. You feel very personable and you don't, you just feel like you're coming home when you're coming to visit him almost. When I woke up in the recovery room, Dr. Schreiber had already spoken to my parents and let them know how my surgery had gone. Um, so they already were caught up on everything and felt very comfortable knowing that I went through surgery very well and that everything was okay and I was waking up feeling okay and that I had very a lot of numbing in my ears, so I wasn't gonna be like in a lot of pain when I woke up. Yeah, Dr. Schreiber followed up with me the night after my surgery, and we even followed up with him a few days after my surgery because I actually was sick after my surgery. Once the numbing started wearing off in my ears, I was feeling very, very nauseous. He had given us his personal cell phone number um, so we could get a hold of him even after office hours which made both my mom and I feel very comfortable so you can get a hold of him 24 seven, no matter what time you need him, which is not what most doctors would do. I cried when the bandages came off. Um, it was one of the best days that I've ever had. I came here and I was ready to go. It was seven days after my surgery and I was so eager to get my bandages off and to see what the next step was. Um, I knew that my ears weren't fully recovered and that it wasn't the final stages of it. I knew I had a few months for the swelling and everything to go down, but it was one of the happiest days of my life because it was like a relief off my shoulders. My self-confidence was completely changed and turned around. So not only did he do a wonderful job in my surgery, but he was able to just completely change the way that I feel about myself and that I carry myself in a day-to-day, -day, like in the world. and. Not only like I don't, I think that he can see it when I walk in here now, but I think like all my family sees it, my friends see it, and like I can feel it in myself. I would have never worn my hair like this prior to my surgery just because I was so self conscious of it. He, he just makes you feel so comfortable, and it, there's just not a second guess in the world that I would have had anybody else do my surgery. It's not just a surgery, it, it's definitely a life changing situation.